Hello friends. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to all of you. Today I'm going to do a pour for the for this week's Massey Art Studio Posse Challenge. And we are supposed to pour over something. So I'm going to get my paints together. I'm going to use leftover paints today, so I'm not gonna be able to tell you exactly where they came from, but I just thought that way I could get rid of some of them and just see how this works. Okay, be right back. The colors that I am using today are these this really interesting blue have another blue and another blue and I have this sea aqua color again I wasn't very good at labeling these paints so I'm not sure I'm I'm almost positive they're um, mixed media girl paints, but I'm not going to swear by that. And then I've got this really deep magenta. And what I thought I would do is put them all in this split cup. And in the middle, I'm going to do, I will put the blues in on each side. Then in the middle, I'm going to use the magenta and layer it with gold and silver in these two center ones. So we'll see how that works out. I've left these paints pretty thick because I want them to um, cling to the bowl. Oh, it's actually a dish. It can be a relish dish or whatever you want it to be, but I just thought I would pour over it and see what happens. So we'll get these colors in here. We'll use the dark one over here. Hope you can see that all right. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put all of these paints in. Hoping that I have enough to cover that dish. If I don't, we'll figure out something else. All right, that blue is in there. Uh, let's go a light blue. This turquoise is pretty, or aqua, whatever you wanna call it. Now let's see, just wanna make sure I have about the same amount. Uh, a little more in this one, but that's okay, because we may need to add some other paint. Okay, so let's get this darker one over here. This has a little shimmer to it. I like putting single colors in the split cup chambers. They just seem to flow a lot better. Now I gotta get some paper towel here. There we go. And then we have this blue. Let's get this one in there. Get quite a bit of this one. Oh, they're all pretty even.
Now, I'm going to do a little layering here. I have some silver. I'm going to put a little bit in the bottom. Put that over here by the blue. Okay, and then we'll take our magenta. Should be interesting. A little more silver. And a little more magenta. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing on the other side, or the um, other chamber in the middle. And we're going to put gold this time. And that's pretty thick too. That's okay. And our magenta. Some gold. And I got it off the edge there, didn't I? And the last of our magenta. And I have a little left just in case. All right. Well, those are pretty even. I'm just going to clean up our mat here. And we shall see what happens. I'm not going to put it over a canvas because I will only get some things that are off these sides and I don't think I would have enough. So let's just turn it this way. And bring it down a little bit. That should, that should give it plenty of support. And being on the silicone mat, it won't slip. All right, let's see how this goes. <sighs> I didn't prime this or anything. I just wanted to experiment. And the paint that is dripping off on the sides, I'm going to, um, onto the mat, I can dip some cabochons for earrings and necklaces with what's left over on the mat. It's actually blending kind of nicely. It's kind of pretty, actually. But I don't think I have enough. So what I'm going to have to do is pour some from the cups that I've had left over Let's see how we did oh we did nicely on that side might be able
Yeah, that's pretty empty. A few spots missing over here. I think what we're going to do is we'll take some of this. I don't really have enough to put back in the split cup, so I'm just going to get some of this down here and cover it. <sighs> Colors are definitely interesting, that's for sure. <laughs> well, that was a big glob of something. Okay. I kind of lost the silver and the gold, but I think what I'm going to do is... I'm going to dribble some on there. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think it's pretty cool actually. I like it. Should have put it on a turntable so you could see what I was doing. We need a little blue right there. It's coming off. Hmm. This is interesting. I guess I'm going to have to slowly get my fingers around here to get some of this, keep it from dripping. You know it's going to change. Well, it's pretty wild. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this settle in. I think first we'll just add a little bit of gold and a little bit of silver. And then we're just going to let this settle in and see how it's doing. And then see, you know, after the paint has finished dripping off, see if there's anything else we need to do on this for coverage. Oh, I guess I could have put a canvas under there. There's some beautiful colors. Okay. I'm going to take a little bit of gold. And just give it a little a little fun and then I'm going to take some of this silver and do kind of the same thing you know just sort of plop it on Let's see what happens <laughs> All right. And I will be back. Let this settle.
and we'll see what happens. All right. And I will be back. Let this settle and then we'll see what happens. Wow, that was a lot of fun. I think another time I would probably put some gold and silver streaks down on the bowl first before doing the pour. That way, hopefully it would show through on the inside of the bowl, which of course has no paint on it. It's just the reflection or the, you know, because it was a um, clear piece, it's just coming through from the outside. So you can use it for food, whatever. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, please consider subscribing, hit the like button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you'll know when I've uploaded a new video. I hope you all have a wonderful holiday and a great new year. And remember, keep your sparkle on and give it to someone you love. Bye-bye.